Hey, this is Andrew with 11 Trees. Let me give you a quick run through of Annotate Pro and our new toolbar feature that is designed to work beautifully with Canvas SpeedGrader and also Google Docs. And you can check out a separate video on similar features and functionality in Google Docs. The heart of Annotate has always been the idea that as a Chrome extension, which means it's available um, wherever you go on the web, we can bring comments of reusable libraries to your fingertips. So in this case, I've got five active libraries. Four of them are selected. So one cool aspect to annotate is you could create an assignment-specific library of reusable comments or course-specific. You could also have a library that was provided by a Writing Across the Curriculum Initiative at your institution. And you can roll all those libraries together into one so that you can search and utilize favorites uh, full text search, uh, right click, context menu access to groups of comments across all of those different libraries. So I'm going to keep two here. Our college edition, which is a core set of basic 100 some comments around basic academic writing, and also Motivation Station edition, which is our little fun uh, library of, of uh, quotes to help motivate uh, both students and ourselves. So that's always been the heart of Annotate. What's new is the idea of a toolbar to bring all of this one step closer to your work as a teacher providing feedback to students. So you're probably familiar with this view, the beautiful speed grader experience in Canvas where I can highlight, add comments. What we're doing is extending this experience. So when I highlight and get to the point where I have this little bubble, instead of typing a comment, I can use a favorite to simply click and add an entire comment which I can then personalize. So part of the beauty here is that to the student, they're not going to get anything different than what they're used to. Feedback inside of SpeedGrader. So I'll do this one more time, and I'm just picking here at random in the interest of speed. I've also got full text search of those libraries, which can constitute hundreds of comments potentially across all different types of uh, issues, content issues, writing, argument, grammar, documentation, MLA, APA, etc. With one tap, I can add in this case, a really pretty detailed piece of feedback and advice concerning counterargument that includes a link out to additional reading and research for the student. So what we're trying to get at is faster taking out clicks, faster feedback, giving you reusable libraries of comments that you can share with colleagues potentially. And a final point here about the toolbar, and you can put the toolbar on the right, which gives you a, a bigger view of all of your favorites. But the advantage to using the top toolbar is that you get a history of feedback for this particular student. So not just in this assignment, not just even in this course, but back to the first time that you gave feedback to a student in SpeedGrader, you have access to that content. And actually, the dates are clickable. They will take you to the particular SpeedGrader document so you can or, or you know, kind of re refresh your memory, uh, use it to either uh, compliment a student on their progress or perhaps chastise them for not paying attention to things you said to them weeks and weeks ago. Uh, so we're trying to personalize the experience. This is the student's avatar, this kind of robot looking thing is what the student has chosen inside a canvas to use as their little icon. So what's cool about this is you get this very fast scrollable view of feedback you've created for them. And so trying to pack all this into the core Canvas experience. Just a couple of things I'll touch on before we, we leave here. Uh, I talked about the multiple libraries. Uh, from here also, I can jump into editing modes. We've got a very intuitive editing experience where I can either extend libraries that are shared with me. So I've got the overall info on the library. Then I've got the different groups in the library. And then if I click on a group, I get all the comments inside of it. I can add new comments. I can sort them. Uh, very intuitive experience here to create new content. The moment I click Save, I can flip back to SpeedGrader and all of those changes would appear automatically. And the final point here, uh, just kind of touching on this, uh, what we think is a really powerful idea around history and uh, accountability uh, around feedback and the things that we invest our time in saying to students, uh, is the, the feed, as we call it. So this is all of your feedback across all of your students, all of your activity in SpeedGrader. Uh, optionally, Annotate will capture and log your freeform comments, just custom comments that you've typed, and then you can use the feed to add those freeform comments and tweak them, perhaps give them a label and add them for reuse down the road. So very efficient way to augment and extend your libraries by leveraging all of the comments that you create manually. And the final point here, uh, along with being able to filter by date, 
uh, is the ability to filter by student and see an overview of where have I given feedback to the student, both at the, the group level. Uh, so big groups of comments, you could think of them perhaps as competencies, depending on how you design your libraries, and then within groups down to the actual uh, comment level, where have I spent my time, and then all of the actual text. You can see this is a little test account here, so it's a lot of gobbledygook, but I think you'll get the idea. So that's a quick zoom through of Annotate Pro and Canvas SpeedGrader, a match made in heaven, we like to think. Thanks for taking a look, and please download our Chrome extension, give it a try, uh, take seconds to set it up, and 30 comments are free forever. And of course, we can talk to you about institutional licenses and bringing this powerful, scaling great feedback idea to your institution.